Hey guys, what's up? Manas here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about two different version of EEUI based ROMs on a single version of EEUI which is EUI 5.9.026S. So as you can see on the screen, I have opened the XDA developers pages of both the ROMs. So first one here is Slim EUI and as you can see the page has all the features, bugs and download links listed. So you can download by visiting these pages on XDA website. Same here on small EUI page, it has also the supported devices list. We're gonna try on LE2X526. The features list is huge as compared to Slim EUI and as you can see it has listed that it is based on the EUI 5.9.026S stable ROM. It is only one bug listed that is the network location is not working. Let's install these ROMs one by one on my device and check out ourselves. So let's begin. First, we're gonna try the Slim EUI ROM. So let's copy this ROM zip file to LE2's internal storage. By the way, I have wiped everything out of my LE2 using custom recovery. Now let's paste the ROM.zip file in the internal memory. As you can see it is inside the LE2. Now we have to disconnect the cable from PC and install the ROM using custom recovery. Now the ROM has installed. Let's reboot the phone now. As I have told before, booting into a new ROM will take some time, so don't panic and don't do anything during the new ROM booting process. It can break your device, I don't know. So just wait for 5 to 10 minutes. So we are in the new ROM, let me set this up and I will be back because the brightness is too high and you won't be able to see anything so I'll be back in a couple of seconds here I am back early during the setup process to show you that the fingerprint is also working as you can see it's done smoothly Now we are in the slim EUI. First thing I have noticed that the clock is in the middle position like iOS. It was also written there on the XDA forum page. Let me decrease the brightness cause it is making the background dark. As you can see I have connected to a Wi-Fi network. Okay now let me show you the first bug. Now, let me open the Play Store. At first time, even if you tap on the Play Store icon, it won't launch the app. See? Then you have to go to File Manager. Then search for Play Services and you will see a Play Services APK. You need to install that APK. Okay, so install that APK, it will also take quite some time. So while that is installing, let's check the other functions. First the camera. As it is the stock Lyco ROM, the camera is also the stock one. All the functions work. Let's take a photo.
it is little grainy because the room's lighting is not that good but the camera will perform better in the daylight i guess Now let's open the compass. It will also work but you need to calibrate for the first time. It is the Chinese wallpaper app for Laiko Chinese EUI ROMs so it won't work properly in India I guess unless you change the region to mainland China. Let's check the IR Blaster 2. As this is the stock remote app, it should work here. Yeah, it is working. See the LED is blinking here. Okay, fine. The gallery is also the stock one. Now let's check the about phone section. As you can see here, the device name is alright but the model number is changed to X520 where I am using the X5261. And the security patch level is very old, everything else is okay. Let's check the storage. We are getting around 21.46 GB out of 29 GB. Fingerprint I have shown you guys, what's next? Okay, moving to the play services. Okay, it's done installing. Untick the delete apk cause you may need that later. Let's open the play store again. As you can see, it won't let you go further than this. I know that cause I have used this ROM before. I have installed this ROM again to show you guys what problem does it have. And while I was facing this problem and I am searching for solution. There was no proper solution anywhere, there was one on XDA thread but it was of no use. And as you can see, clearing the play store data also does not work. And for me, without Play Store, a ROM is worthless, no matter how smooth. So moving on to the next ROM which is the small EEY V2 by Oral. According to XDA, this ROM is rich in features. So let's do the same, copy the ROM zip file into the internal storage of LE2. As you can see, we have the ROM zip file inside the internal storage of LE2. Now let's disconnect the cable from the PC and install the ROM using TWRP custom recovery. Now unlike other custom ROMs, the installation process is quite interesting. It's like installing Windows operating system in a PC. As you can see on the screen, it has the information about the ROM, then press next. You can select either clean or dirty install. Clean means it will wipe everything, dirty means it will keep your data. Then you have to select your device model number, mine is X526, so I will tap on that, then press next. Then select the location you are in. I'm in Asia, so I will select that. Then you have to select what features are you going to install. There is also iOS emojis. After selecting the features you need, press next. Next up will be the button settings. How much light you will want from the button. I'm gonna choose the medium one. 
let's enable ad blocking ads are quite annoying sometimes now you have to choose if you want to root or not i need root of course so i'm gonna select rooting with super su the benefit of this is it will give you total access and total control over your android device Now in this, I'm gonna install exposed framework with some useful modules. Then press next. Okay, now everything is done and it will begin the ROM installation. Just press next. Now you don't have to do the setup exactly like mine. You can change some features and you may not need root. So do install with your own preference. I am gonna be back after the installation is done. So we are in the small EUI ROM and I am back in the middle of the setup process to show you the fingerprint setup. And as you can see, again the fingerprint setup process, the OS is taking my fingerprint. So whenever it is based on stock EUI, the fingerprint sensor will work, don't worry. Okay, now the setup is done and we are completely in the small EUI ROM. Let me decrease the brightness to combat background darkness. Okay, it's fine now. So swipe up to Google search is not working in both small EUI and slim EUI. Let's open the Play Store now. Let me set it up with my Google account and I'll be back. Okay, so I have set the Play Store with my Google account. It crashed. Okay, I know the reason. To make the Play Store work properly, you need to update the Play Services. So let's update it. You know what is good about the small EUI ROM? It is better than the EUI 5.9.026 as stable also. Why if you ask me? Cause it is giving you Play Store inbuilt unlike slim EUI and EUI 5.9. And when only Play Store is given now, you can install any app. That's why without Play Store working properly, a ROM is useless for me at least. Let's check the about phone and as you can see it is showing small UI by oral and here the model number is also correct. Security patch level is newer than slim UI. Everything else is fine. Dolby Atmos is also here. In location settings, I don't see any problem here, but we will test it later. IR Blaster 
It should work cause it is based on EUI. Yep, it works. The camera. There is no problem with the camera, same old stock EUI camera app. Let me take a picture. It's grainy because of room's lighting conditions and daylight clicks should be fine. As you can see, you can record up to 4K resolution. Now let's install maps and check the GPS works or not. Okay, so this is the second time I'm using this ROM and at the first time of using this ROM, the GPS was working and it was almost accurate. This time it will also work but it will need some time I guess. So guys, as you can see, there is the Super SU app. Currently, no apps is using Super user permission, that's why it is empty. Now let's open exposed app and before the app opens there will be a warning message that in some cases your device might no longer boot after installing exposed because exposed will work into the deep system level tasks and there are many modules for that. So if you mess up with any of this knowingly or unknowingly your device will soft break or go into boot loop. So if you don't know how to use exposed do not install it. It's not very hard either. You will understand once you start playing with it, but do a backup of your ROM. Now let's open the modules page. We have installed some useful modules, remember? Let me enable some of those. The status bar download progress is basically, it will show your download progress on the top of the display in form of a very thin line, like this. Let's install one more useful app, Greenify. It's useful for hibernating apps which are running unnecessarily in the background. It will also work as a super user app after you select my device is rooted option in Greenify. See? Now you have to grant it and it will work automatically in system level and you don't have to open the app again to hibernate the apps you have selected. Kinda cool. As I have told you, I used this ROM before and therefore I can tell you, this is a very good and stable ROM with every functions and features working perfectly. GPS is not accurate but give it some time and it will be. You can go ahead and install this one if you are tired of installing custom ROMs on your Lyco LE2. With that said, thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you have liked it. Comment down below on what you want to see next or any suggestions about this video. So till then subscribe to my channel to watch more contents like this. Goodbye. Peace.